guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time seeing this beautiful face please don't make it your last by clicking the right button here the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber hello fam welcome back to my channel it's been um really overwhelming the last time i was here last week i dropped a vlog where i um explained a few things why i was away i didn't really give in much details why i was away from youtube i i think i took like two to three months break i was not vlogging i didn't post anything i was just there i just want to really apologize guys i am really really sorry i'm really really sorry guys so but this girl is back okay um so in today's video i'm just going to be um like explaining and telling you guys why i went away and what i've been up to things i've been doing the past couple of months and by the way happy new year i know my look looks a little bit um you know so not like me i am not the red lippy kind of girl the red lipstick and it's just because i really wanted to try something different you all know me and nude me and nude we are like five and six <laughs> i hope you guys love my red lipstick couple of months as at last year 2021 it really wasn't the end of the year really wasn't um a good year i think the last vlog i dropped was after my birthday or my birthday vlog was the last vlog i dropped after that i i don't think i i did any vlog or i dropped anything but ah i'm trying um this year is different because there are a lot of things i'm doing this year a lot of content i'm doing this year anyone who knows me knows that i've always had passion for acting ever since i was in high school I've, it's something i've always wanted to do it's something i have been chasing for a very long time now i decided to start youtube because um it was in line with what i've always wanted to do i got the opportunity once again to come on set and it was really pretty amazing i had an amazing experience so i was really busy going on set i'm just going to drop videos of my work so you guys can check it out that's me on tv pretty very soon so um it was more of me trying to chase my dream things i've always really wanted to do and not like i want to leave youtube i'm still going to be doing youtube i'm still going to be dropping vlogs for you guys don't be scared don't be scared i will still drop vlogs for you guys it's really hard to you know vlog videos when you're on sets because um these things take time and they really don't want what they're um filming about they just like to keep it really cool till the movie is out guess, guess what this girl is in a cinema film although we didn't really get asked much but it's a big step for me like it has made me realize to always count my blessings like no matter how really small they are I really don't have to always concentrate on the big things but the little things is all that matters like I'm really super excited and I can't wait for you guys to see this film I gotta meet a lot of um, actors legendary actors um, actors I grew up watching you know doing their thing learning from them you know it was really amazing it was an amazing experience how i got into it um i have a friend we worked together i'll always call his name we worked together some years ago that was in um, 2014 yeah 2014 or 15 i really can't remember we kept in touch we've been really cool he checks up on me he's a very very big actor like he's one of your faves you guys <laughs> So I, I spoke to him and I told him, oh, I'm really still interested in this and I really still want to do this, you know. And he was like, okay, but you know I'm in Lagos, you know. Short story. Buja, and then he, he sent me a message. He actually came to film. He didn't come to see me. No, he came to film. So he told me he was on set, so I should come over so he can introduce me to the director. So there is this other director and producer I have been trying to, you know, get across to I send monologues you know and put out there 
chat them, you know, I've been really trying to work with this director producer. So when I when my friend came, I went to see him and um, I met these other people. I have been I've been wanting to like I have been trying to reach out to and it, that was just God working for me in ways that I didn't even expect. Like you guys don't even want to know how long I have been trying to get across to this director producer like it has been for years now for years but you know everything is just time and that process made me um relax and really think that okay it's not like it's not going to happen it's definitely going to happen it's just the time but i am really super excited that it happened i mean look at me now I was stressing over something that was going to be mine in a few years time. It was just for me to be patient and wait. It came to me directly and from there I got to work with them. I'm more like a family now. You know they call me for jobs from time to time and I can't wait for you guys to see the movies that are coming out. Just take a look at this. super excited guys it's been a dream come true and ah, I really can't stress that much but I am really super excited that lines are falling in place on places for me at this moment and every day I keep praying and I keep asking that God should give me the patience and you know to wait and trust him my time and I'm really excited that it's been happening this way at some point of my life, um, at some point last year, I really wanted to leave Nigeria. <laughs> Girl wanted to Japa. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to give him much details on that area yet. So um, I'm just going to give you guys the necessary details. I want you guys to hear and know for now. It was pretty much like something I've always wanted. I just really needed a little time, you know, especially when you have to do everything by yourself is really not easy so um that is still there for now i want to go back to school or i want to go back to school or i am going back to school rather and it's been really challenging trying to uh go in on set having school and you know it's been quite challenging but you know i'm trying to keep up with you guys so it's really not been easy but I am sure that I can handle it. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying. I really don't know how it's going to be possible dropping um, vlogs three times a week, but I am going
going to try my best, you know. And um, my program, yeah, is an MSc program. There are a lot of places I'm trying to put this whole thing, and I really don't want to give in much details, like I said earlier. I really don't want to give in much details now till everything is, you know, working out before I can let you guys be in the know. But for now, I'm just, um, you know, praying to God and handling each day as it comes. So, um, aside that, we started a business. <laughs> this girl is now a food vendor. <laughs> yeah, um, we started a business and um, it's been really amazing. And our opening sales start 11th of February. That's this Friday, this coming Friday. Yeah, on the 11th of February. And we have 10% discount on not every meal though, not every meal. We have a menu, I'm just going to drop that also so you guys can see go through it listen your orders yeah so i started iggy sports and we already have a youtube channel for it so i would really want you guys to go and subscribe please to iggy sports oh my god i feel super excited like i am beginning to do everything i've always wanted to do like i'm in that space that frame of mind and i'm thinking right and i know that okay i really want to do this and i'm really going for it um i just really wanted to be this person that i am right now i just needed that break and besides i was really occupied with a lot of things trying to get my life together and me trying to become the person I've always wanted to be, a better version of me. I just want to thank God for um, the love I got, the support, prayers, family and friends that were there and it's been really really amazing and sometimes you know it's not easy keeping up um, with content I mean because Sometimes I really get lazy. I'm not even going to lie. I really get lazy and sometimes I feel like I want to give up. Especially when you don't have, you know, things you need to vlog, equipment you need to vlog. Like, um, there are a lot of things I need. There are a lot of equipment I need. And sometimes when I want to vlog, it makes me so lazy that I don't want to do it because I don't have these things. But I have been like, okay, have to push myself because I really love this and I really want to do this so I keep pushing myself and if you don't push yourself no one's gonna do it for you this year we are going all out we are going all out always wanting to do I know it's not easy even when you have certain things you really want to do and you get lots of no's or there's this voice inside of you telling you no but you don't have this you don't think you have the potential like i really have to or i really had to um i'll talk myself from such kind of thoughts and you know try to like oh yeah i can actually do this and i really want to do this so and i found myself pushing myself because no one is even going to encourage you there are a lot of people who can do this even better than you so <laughs> why don't you put in your best and give it your all and you know and youtube entails lots of patience you know especially when you don't get the um, number of, or the kind of views and likes and subscribers that you know you're you're you're, you're dreaming of it. it it just makes you want to you know just just be there you don't it, it discourages you a lot like me i am an example like it has discouraged me a number of times a lot of times it has discouraged me sometimes i be like oh it's never going to grow, I can't do this. But 2022, I am aiming for at least 2,000 subscribers and lots of views. And by the way, guys, we reached 9,000 views, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for viewing, for likes, for comments. I really appreciate it. I got to this stage and I didn't even acknowledge that, oh, I have actually I now have 9,000 views I mean that is super amazing and it's only because of you guys so I'm really really super excited that you guys <laughs> you guys brought me here like <laughs> you guys brought me here I know you guys might feel like oh it's small it's not it's not little like it, this is an achievement so dear to me and I just want to say thank you 
we must grow this YouTube channel. This year we are going all out. Um, reason or the last good news is that uh, we got a place. Yeah. We moved out of that one room, which I um, kind of like chipped in in my last video. We are no longer in that one room and it's been an amazing step. I mean, it wasn't easy. It has not been easy. I'm not even going to lie. It was worth it. Like, at the first two weeks, I didn't really realize that I had done that. Like, I was in that space, but I didn't really get to acknowledge the fact that, oh girl, you did this. Because I was so overwhelmed with everything that was going on around me. Um, forget it, I had lots of no's. Like, especially from family. Like, no girl, mm-mm. When you have um, older siblings, they feel like um, you living alone is an abomination, especially when you're a girl. Some people are not that it. Lots of, lots of bad negative energy, you know. But I get their own point of view, but you need to realize that this is your life. I'm, I'm pretty sure um, girls in my age group and line will feel lots of restrictions when you are have passion for something there is nothing in your comfort zone i was in my comfort zone i had nothing going on for me like business wise i wasn't even thinking why i was just there in my comfort zone i was just just really there and it nothing everything was really just so me moving to this place has really opened out doors for me i, I mean i i get to go out I, I get to meet people i get to you know do things you know to push myself you know i get to think well like i've been in this space and honestly i've been having lots of ideas i think right i you know <laughs> There's no slacking and it's been lots of good energy around me. I'm not saying you should also move out of your parents' house. I mean, if they're not supportive, I mean, you can just, you know. Because the thing is, whether you move now, tomorrow, next year, the coming year, the bottom line is you're still going to move, okay? So you moving is for your own self, it's for your own growth. Honest, ever since I moved, I, I, it was really disturbing then, but I blocked out the noise and I just realized that I really have to focus on me because it's my life and I have to make it um, what I want it to be, imagine it to be. So, and I've been working towards it and it's been really, really amazing. And I'm just super excited that um, it's been going really well, going really wonderful. Like I said, it's been lots of positive energy, positive growth, lots of growth, I think right. It, 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 was, it was a step that was really, really needed and it took lots of God, courage and bravery for me to get it. I really can't wait to keep sharing with you guys my adventures to do a tour of my new place. I just need you guys to be a little bit patient with me. It's not going to be easy having to, um, um, you know, put on vlogs on this channel, my food channel, you know, having school, business, going on set. <laughs> okay, girl, <laughs> I see. Let's see how it goes this year, but I know that I'm um, going to be an amazing journey. And this year is already looking beautiful and I'm really, really looking forward to um, everything that 2020 has in store for me. Yeah. <laughs> So that will be all. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if not, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave your beautiful comments. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.